Hello all and welcome to C Sharp videos. In this video, we'll see how to use class library. In the previous video, we have created a class library that is maths library, which has maths class having two methods. Now let us quickly use this in console application. So I'll create a new console application. So I'll say file new project. You can use any type of project for time being. I'm going to use console application, name it as use library. So we have selected console application .NET framework. Okay. Now first thing we have to add the reference to the DL file. So you can do it in two ways. In solution explorer, you'll find references. Here you have to add reference to the DL file we have created. You can add it from here. Right click and you say add reference or you go to project menu and you say add reference. So you can select any of the option. So I'll say add reference. From the left side, you have selected browse. Click on browse and locate the DL file. It is on D drive. So go to your location. I have C sharp videos. We have demos. And here you can see maths library is available. So make sure that you have selected a appropriate DL file. So go to the folder. You'll find bin, debug, and maths library. Add. So you'll find references added. Click on OK. So you'll find maths library is available. Now, first thing is we have added the reference. Second thing is we have to include the namespace by using this modifier. So using maths library. And once reference is added, namespace is included. Now you can create object of your maths class. That's all. So we'll find maths m equal to new maths. You can call the methods m dot add by passing two parameters. Let's say console dot write line m dot subtract. That's all. Okay. Now, if you run this, you'll get the output of your program. Now you can see addition of two numbers 10, 20, 30, and subtraction 40 minus 2, 38. That's all. So this is quite simple. So to use the DL file, first add the reference. Second thing is you have to include the namespace and then you can use the class normally by creating the object and calling the methods. So I hope this is clear. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to us and click on bell icon to get more videos like this and I will see you in the next video.